Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Expand your digital reel and learn the art of multilingualism on your WordPress website. From plugin recommendation to content translation, this guide empowers you to reach a global audience seamlessly. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, as you know, and I suppose that you have a website and it has content in whatever language that might exist, let's assume that it is on English. Well, if we went to the statistics, well, there is a lot of people that are not English speakers. So if we went to the statistics, so statistics of people that don't speak English, you will find a lot of people. So here, as you can see, did you know that only 6% of the global population are native English speakers? So with that being said, you are losing more than 94% of the audience that must or are maybe capable to actually visit your website and keep revisiting it as uh, always, like daily visits to read your content and more. But because your website isn't translated for their native language, well, there will be a language barrier which it will stop them from doing that. Also, if you want your Google Analytics, which I have made a video about it, you can check the list of the uh, audience that comes to your website. And you can see that a lot of people there that are from uh, foreign, foreign countries. That means that maybe they don't speak English and you should actually uh, take responsibility and try to actually fit those people into your website. In this video specifically, we're going to actually do that. For the people who are usually visiting your website and they don't speak English and they know about using uh, like the functionalities of their browser, they can simply click here and translate to English here and maybe they can actually uh, translate to whatever language they want using the functionalities of their browser. But not everyone knows how to use that and as you can see here, they can literally translate the website to any single language on the earth. But for example, here I'm going to translate my website to Japanese and here it is. But for those who doesn't know, we are going to actually use a plugin that's going to help them to manage to, and to translate the website for them. So in this specific video, we are going to go to the plugins, add new plugin, as you can see here. So here in this section, guys, what we are going to do is to simply go to search plugins here. And let's search simply for multi-language or multilingual, depends on what you want. And it should appear here, multilingual language here it is and now yep here it is translate wordpress with g translate and there is a bunch of others uh, like plugins that you can use for example translate wordpress google language translator and much more so for our video we are going to use this one so install now and simply now just wait for it until it is fully installed so let's just wait and here it is so as you can see now we just have to go ahead and click on install plugins section right here Go ahead and click on activate this plugin. And now this plugin is activated. So if I went to my website, as you can see, there is nothing yet. We should still be able to add some settings and configure some parameters so we can actually add it to the site. So let's go to the settings right by clicking right here. And as you can see, we have to work on all of that before we can actually add it to the site. So here we go, widget look. We should add it how to be, pop up, nice drop down with flags, pop up, drop down, globe. So we add a globe. Here, uh, translate from English, subdirectory URL, we don't need to, native languages names, uh, auto switch to browser language, uh, show in menu, let's add it to the primary menu, show floating language selector, uh, top right, top right, yeah, top right seems right. For uh, flag size, it's going to be 32, I guess. And the globe size 60. Here are the languages that I want them to be added, French, German, etc. So let's keep them that way and then save changes. And changes have been saved. And now let's refresh the site. As you can see, here are the languages. So let's try, for example, to translate the website to Spanish. 
and as you can see it has been simply translated the whole content into Spanish but to make sure that it has been translated like uh, very well without any problems let's create a post so I'm going here to add a new post and let's grab something from chat GPT so give me a random text about health and I'm going to copy it and put it in my website and see if it's gonna be able to translate it so here we go health publish publish view post and as you can see uh, this is basically the post we need to click on it to see it wait yeah uh, let's go back home here it is the health one so let's click on health oh wait what's what's happening exactly here okay here it is and as you can see this is the text of my post and it seems like basically uh, the thing is it's it's translating it very very correctly for example here Sabia Scalarisa etc etc so it is actually doing it really well so I'm going to translate it for many languages so you can see so as you can see basically it's doing the same thing did you know that lover has been linked to various health benefits which is the same thing that has been said right there so this plugin is working very well for the languages as I showed you right now settings go to G translate and as you can see there is so many languages that you can go for uh, you can check all languages let's try to check all languages and see how they can look in the globe I think the whole website is gonna be like uh, full of languages I don't know yeah this is too much yeah this is so many languages you can actually fix it the way you want it to be you can put it right there in the bottom in the top left in the top right you know it's completely up to you it's not really necessary to be that way that I'm doing it you just have to follow my steps to actually know how to do it but in general uh, you, sh you shouldn't really go f for anything crazy you just have to follow my steps and after that you can really just uh, do whatever you want with these three settings which are basically primary menu and where you want the, the floating language to be and the size of the flags in the globe and of course the most important thing is to check only the languages that you your Google Analytics shows you as for example uh, there is people coming from Bangladesh India and the United States well you should basically choose the three languages and add them to your website and maybe you can add some of the famous languages as Spanish Chinese and French so people can actually be able to read it in so many languages if they wanted to and yeah guys that was basically it for today's video if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section thank you guys a lot for watching and if you do have any topics to talk Talk about in a few more videos that are coming make sure to leave them thank you guys and see you guys in the next tutorial